All right, folks. So what we have here is a Yaesu FT-70D. It's a pretty popular radio these days, and for good reason. Uh, you can get these for about 175 bucks, which is a little expensive uh, on the HT side, but you get a lot of capability with this. It's a dual band, uh, two meter, 70 centimeter radio. It does five watts out on its high power setting, and it does analog and digital modes. The digital mode is Yaesu System Fusion. It has a very, very clean output signal with uh, minimal to no spurious emissions or harmonics, which is fantastic. And it has a great front end receiver that uses a super heterodyne receiver, which is fantastic, especially in HTs because it helps protect them from desensitization. Now, one of the things that people do complain about with this radio is the limited battery life. And uh, I would agree that the battery life does seem a little bit limited. So we're always looking for alternative ways to charge this particular radio. So I was at the uh, Dayton Ham Fest recently, and I'm sorry I forget the guy's name, but I was talking to somebody and uh, he was telling me about his radio and how he charges it with a USB USB-C cable. And uh, I was like, wow, you, how do you do that? Tell me all about it. And yeah, he was really nice. He pulled up his Amazon page and showed me the product that he bought. And uh, so I went ahead and I ordered it and I'll show you what I've been using to charge this. And uh, what I found is it works really well. So the cable that we're using is um, it's a USB-C cable, but it has the barrel connector that fits into the charging port on this radio. So let me just go ahead and open this up. And uh, there's our charging port on the radio. And then I can go ahead and I can just plug this baby in here, uh, just like I would with my uh, regular charger. And I would show you my regular charger, but I can't find it. And that's a problem that I've always got. Um, what I haven't done is lost this. And so this is a PD cable. Uh, PD means power distribution. And this says this one's good for up to 100 watts. Now, I believe PD is a good for up to 240 watts, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And what's unique about PD cables is that the load uh, negotiates the power requirement or the power draw. So in order to use this, you need some sort of charging block. Uh, here's one, and I'll have a link to this below. You don't have to use this one, and maybe you already have one. But uh, you can see this one has a PD port and a QC port, and we're interested in the PD port. This cable's about 15 bucks, give or take, and this charging block, I think I got three of these for $11. Um, so let me get it plugged in and we'll see what we're talking about. All right, so here we have the end of an extension cable. So let me just go ahead and plug this block in. Very simple to do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this into the PD port on here. And then you can see that uh, my Yesu is charging. Now the charger that comes with the Yesu has a output voltage uh, into the radio of around 10.5 volts. I'm not exactly sure what this is um, what this is supplying from a voltage standpoint. Given all the test gear I have, I don't have a way to measure that surprisingly. But uh, what I can see is that this can charge. And somebody's going to say, well, does it charge any faster than a normal brick? I don't know. I didn't run them side by side. But what I found is this is a pretty handy way to do this. Um, you can also get these PD blocks that uh, work in your car. You can plug them in and you can charge while you're on the go. And I just thought this was going to be a pretty handy thing to do a show and tell on. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.